Uh, so we want to briefly talk about uh, this uh, Gibbs phenomenon and uh, how to smooth it. Uh, so if you recall a periodic function with the jump discontinuities uh, a periodic function of course has a Fourier series expansion so if, the, if you call this to be ft this has a Fourier series expansion a k e raised to j k omega naught t uh, k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity in general and of course, if the function has even, then you only have cos terms. If it is odd, you only have sine terms, etc. But in general, you can write it like this. And but here I have explicitly shown a uh, uh, jump discontinuity. So generally, the question is what happens to the partial sum? So let's say k equal to minus n to n so n terms or two n terms then if you so i'm going to call this fn of t if you take it this is the fun the partial sum will hug the original function everywhere except at the jump discontinuity where there will be a sh overshoot and undershoot so this overshoot is about uh, nine percent and uh, as we have shown this is independent of uh, it doesn't matter how many terms you and the overshoot is still going to remain at nine uh, percent, and then there will be a ringing here, the second overshoot, etc. So there will be n overshoots and similarly n undershoots. Now, if you want to uh, smooth it, you can do the following. Suppose we uh, take this function and uh, do a small window around uh, <coughs> around each point. Let's say if you are at t. You make a window from let's say from phi over n to minus phi over n to n. Whatever is the n, we will see this. So if you do this on the right side, then this is a k. K is from minus n to n. Uh, integral from uh, t minus phi over n to uh, t plus uh, phi over n. Uh, in fact, uh, the limit only need to go from uh, minus because uh, just u is going from minus pi over n to pi, pi over n. So this is e raised to j k omega naught uh, t plus u du. So let me call this uh, this to be a smooth the function f tilde of n t. So f tilde of n t is summation a k e raised to j k omega naught t minus pi over n to pi over n e raised to j k omega naught u du so if you do this uh, so this integral is of course e raised to j k omega naught u over j k omega naught from minus pi over n to n pi over n so that we can see is a sink term so this will turn out to be sigma k equal to a k uh, sink omega naught uh, k omega naught pi over n multiplied by e raised to uh, j k omega naught t. So bottom line is, uh, this, so this is the moral of the story. If you have an original series which has got the Gibbs phenomenon, then if when you sum up, if you modify these coefficients by this a sink window appropriately chosen, uh, of course you can choose this to be uh, uh, pi over uh, uh, pi divided by t n then omega naught will cancel and this will be independent of omega naught. Yeah, so the, by choosing, so if you call this to be bk, uh, the point is this, uh, this function is now, you can see here, it's actually, uh, we are averaging over a small window so that the average to function, so this is essentially sigma bk uh, e raised to jk omega. So this is still periodic and this is still a partial sum but this partial sum is going to 
or hug the original original term, you are going to remove the Gibbs phenomenon because this will get averaged out and you will get a porous a smooth function which will be uh, which will hug the original function even more closely.